Hello Blue Water Drivers, this is Ron. Uh, this is a video uh, that uh, we're going to provide and hopefully we can provide more than just this one to help you uh, understand the new ELD portion of the PeopleNet. Uh, so logging in is just like it has been before. You have to enter in your driver ID and password. And as you're signing in, you're going to be able to get you're going to get to your ELD screen. There are some things that you have to do when you log in. Okay, so this is the first one. Logs have been received. Logs on this ELD require your action. There are unidentified driver records and uncertified logs. You want to hit the OK button at this point. That will bring you to this screen, and in the upper right-hand corner, it tells you your last known status was off. My last known status was off-duty at 3.43 p.m. on 1.16. And then on the lower right corner, it gives you the status button. You want to touch status. If you are beginning your day, whether you're in a sleeper truck or whether you're in a, uh, a, a day cab, for the time being, anyway, just to continue your break until you can be done with all, everything you have to do, put yourself on sleeper berth. That way it will not affect your break. It wants you to confirm your vehicle ID. It should bring up the, the, the vehicle number that you're in. Touch OK. On this screen, this is where you put in your shipper numbers. And you have to enter shipper numbers and trailer numbers on a daily basis and then go through and delete them the next day and enter them again for the for the day that you're beginning. It's critical that you do this because this is a DOT requirement which will cause you to get violations if you do not have this information uh, entered properly and accurately. So if you want to enter a shipment ID, you touch the number, you touch that field right there, bring up the numbers and just enter your shipper number. Whatever the number is, touch there. If you want to get rid of shipper numbers that you have in there from a prior day, here's the number that I just entered, and over here is a square at the end of it. If you touch that, you can remove it. Here's a remove button. And that will clear it out. You do the same thing with trailers. All right. Are you sure you would like to continue with no shipments? If you're starting the day bobtail, you would answer. You would hit next and answer yes here. All right. This is the ELD screen. You guys should be familiar with it by now. And for those of you that have this set up on your truck or for those of you that are working, this is the old self-certify form, and you have to fill this out if it comes up. tractor number after driver name tractor number and then you want to answer yes to all of these questions when you when you have them all answered hit done it takes you to the old um, people net screen touch the ELD driver logs and that should take you back to this screen. All right, we saw that message at the beginning that said that we were um, that we had things to deal with. The options button that you can see right down here has an orange triangle on it. If your options button has an orange triangle, you have to take care of whatever is in there. So you touch options. It's going to bring up this list, and if the and if you have these two things in there, unidentified driver and review logs. Before you do anything, you have to deal with unidentified driver. Unidentified driver are events that occurred while no one was logged into the PeopleNet unit. So this could be, you know, if you're an owner-operator, it could be that your owner came and moved your truck, or it could be that another driver moved your truck. If you work at either Blue Water uh, Romeo or Blue Water Taylor, it could be that maintenance moved your truck. In any case, the unidentified driver events could cause you to lose all of your hours of service if you don't get rid of them. So, when you touch the options button and this list comes up, touch unidentified driver. 
the PeopleNet unit will immediately bring up the unidentified driver event. You touch it so that it's highlighted, and in the bottom right-hand corner will be a reject button. Reject that event. Then go back to the home screen, touch the options button again. If any more unidentified driver events show up, touch it again. It will bring up the unidentified driver event, highlight it, and reject. And you keep doing that process until you come to the home screen and you touch options and you don't have any more unidentified driver events. And there, now you can see that when I touch the options button, all the unidentified driver events were gone and all I have left is review logs. That you're not done. You have to continue to, to work here because you have to certify your logs daily and you can't let it fall behind. You have to stay up on it so that the you only have like one or two or three unidentified or uncertified logs on any given day. So the way you certify them is you touch review logs. It's going to bring up the last, the oldest log that you have. So this is the oldest log, 113. You want to certify it if there's, if, and this is, um, you know, I didn't work on the 13th, so there's nothing here. Certify. You enter your password in order to confirm that you're certifying it. And then you hit agree. The next one that comes up is the next day. You can see now that it says it's the 14th. Scroll through. Make sure that there's nothing in there that's anything other than this blue color. If it looks good. And you want also on days where you actually work, you want to look at the grid. And make sure that everything looks okay. If everything looks okay, touch certify. It's going to ask you to bring up to put in your password again. And then you have to hit agree. Okay, and you can see that it continues. Here's the next day. Here's the 15th. So we're going to scroll through, make sure that we don't have anything that's anything other than blue. We're going to go look at the grid. Okay, the grid looks good. So we're going to certify. Now the 16th. We're going to certify. After we make sure there's nothing in there, everything looks good, let's certify it. And now, I know that the rest of these are all going to be just this one uh, event, which is off-duty. I've been off-duty since the 16th because you saw that when I logged in. So I'm just going to go certify each of these. There's the 18th. And here's the 19th. Now, if the 19th was a day off and you had no work, you were off duty for all 24 hours, then you can go ahead and certify it. There's nothing wrong with that because you're not it's not going to harm your current hours. If the prior day, the day before the current day was a work day, you might want to wait until the end of the day to certify it so that you can get through your work day, not certify anything that might cause you problems, and then at the end of the day, come and do this and look at it and make sure that everything looks okay. I'm going to certify this one because I didn't work yesterday. I didn't do any, any driving, so we're going to certify. And when you have when you are done certifying the logs, you'll see that the PeopleNet unit immediately returns to the ELD screen, and you can see that the options button doesn't have a yellow triangle on it any longer. All right, now you're ready to go. In the upper level here, you can see that there is a red trailer and a red file. The trailer means that you do not have any trailer numbers entered. Do not be driving if you are attached to a trailer with this icon on your screen. If you have a trailer and it's loaded, 
do not be driving with that file up there because that means that your log is not compliant. It means that you don't have your trailer number or your shipper numbers entered into your ELD. If you get stopped by the DOT for an inspection, they're going to give you a violation for form and manner. Okay. <clears throat> So we're going to log out of the PeopleNet unit now. We're going to get out of it. Well, maybe I'm not. All right, let's go back. So I'm currently on sleeper berth. I'm going to go back to rest break. Oh, well, maybe I'm not. I can't go to rest break from, uh, from sleeper berth. So I'm just going to sign out. Off, sign out. So now this is the end of the day DVIR prints. Or something close to that. Tractor. Didn't have a trailer. And I got no defects. Done. All right. It's retrieving the logs. It's going to say the logs are up to date. You touch the OK button. And then you're logged out. All right. It takes you back to the login screen. All right, I hope this was helpful. Please, if you have any questions, you can give us a call back. If you, uh, if you watch this a couple of times and you still can't make heads or tails of it, Kurt or I will be happy to help you. All right, drivers, be safe. Hopefully we'll have some more of these coming to you soon.